What is your favorite thing to see when you look out the window at home or at school? Mine are the flowers that my mom planted in the garden. Today, we're going to take a peek through the windows and get a glimpse of the very beginning of the greatest, most exciting story ever told. It's called The Big God Story. It's about God's love and how he sent a redeemer to save us. Let's peek through our first window to see where the story begins. Before everything and everyone existed. What do you see? Our story begins when God created our world. The Bible says that in the beginning, God created the heavens, the stars and the planets, and the earth. Let's read in our Bible to see what God did next. In Genesis 2, 4-10, it says, No shrub had yet appeared on earth, and no plant had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. But streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. God made a man out of dust, and breathed life into him. Wow! God also made a beautiful garden called Eden. Think of the most beautiful place you've ever visited. Maybe you've been to a tropical island, a national park, or a snow-covered mountain. God created these beautiful places, and we can be sure the garden was also beautiful. Let's check out the clue in our next window. What do you see? Yes, it's a tree! Look at Genesis 2 to see what kinds of instructions God gave to Adam about this tree. The Lord God took the man and put him to the Garden of Eden to work and to take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it, you will certainly die. We are not exactly sure what this tree looked like, but we know that God didn't want Adam to eat its fruit. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the skies, and all the wild animals. Could God have given the animals names by himself? Yeah, he could. He is the creator. But verse 19 says, He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. God could have named the animals on his own, but he chose to include Adam. Why? Because God created us to be in relationship with him. So Adam named the animals. Animals have some funny names. Think about a giraffe. What about a hippopotamus? Adam must have had fun naming these animals. Let's see. We've heard how God made the heavens and the earth, men, animals, tree, and food. What's missing? Let's look at our third window to find out. That's right, a woman. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep, and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. This must have been such a wonderful life for Adam and Eve. They lived in a beautiful garden. They never felt pain, sadness, or fear. But sadly, something happened to change all of this. What did God tell Adam about the fruit of one tree in the garden? That's right. God told Adam that he could eat anything except the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Well, one day, while Eve was walking in the garden, an evil snake spoke to her. The snake told her it wouldn't be a big deal if she ate some of the fruit. Eve was tempted by the fruit from the tree and confused by the snake's words, so she disobeyed God and took a bite. Then she gave some to Adam and he took a bite too. At this moment, sin entered the world. Sin is when we disobey God and turn away from him. Once they had eaten the fruit, Adam and Eve felt shameful right away. They sowed leaves to cover themselves and hide because they heard the sound of God walking in the garden. Although God knew where they were, he asked, Where are you? Adam and Eve told God they were afraid. And God asked them, What is this you have done? God already knew they had eaten the fruit from the forbidden tree. He knew they had sinned by disobeying him. God is holy. That means God is perfect and unlike anyone or anything else. He knows everything and controls everything. He created people to be in perfect relationship with him. He is too holy to live with them in their sin. Because of this, sin separates people from God. Sadly, because they had chosen to disobey God, Adam and Eve had to leave the garden. Wait, wait, wait a minute. 
God created us to be with him. How are Adam and Eve and all the people going to be with God if he couldn't be with the people in their sin? Even though they had sinned, God didn't leave Adam and Eve alone. Before they left the garden, God made them something. Yes, God made them warm clothes out of animal skin for Adam and Eve before they left the garden. The clothes weren't all that God gave to Adam and Eve. He gave them a promise. You see, God created us to be with him. When sin came into the world, it separated us from him. For us to be with him again, the debt of our sin had to be paid. So God promised to send a redeemer who would pay the price of our sin, the debt we owe, and heal the broken relationship between people and God. Imagine if you owed a million dollars and could never pay it back. A redeemer would be someone who would pay that back for you so you wouldn't have to. And the debt of our sin is so much greater than a million dollars. The debt of our sin is spending eternity, or forever and ever and ever, away from God. Who is the Redeemer who God sent? That's God's Son, Jesus Christ. When Jesus died on the cross for our sins, He paid for our sins so that we can have a restored relationship with God. God created us to be with Him. Even when sin entered the world, God had a plan to make the way for us to be with Him again. Who is the way? Jesus. God loves us and created us to be with Him. The big God story is about God's love and how He sent a Redeemer. See you next week for another video.